Friends, a few months ago, I was just cleaning up my room in Bangalore. And in that process, I found this assignment of mine, which I did 20 years ago. That was an assignment which my English teacher had asked me to do about interviewing an adult back then and finding out their message to the younger generation. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the lessons which I learned then, which are relevant even to this very day. Hello everyone. Hey folks, welcome to CSK Speaks. In today's video, we are going to learn about those lessons which are valid to younger generations. When I was young and I was doing this assignment, I could not relate to half of them. But today, when I go through them, I relate to each one of them. And here we go. What are those lessons? But before we get started, let me tell you who I interviewed. I interviewed my dad and those lessons which he shared are relevant even to this very day. Let me see how you would resonate with them. And if you like any of them, you know what to do. Comment on this particular video. First things first, the lesson which he told me for the younger generation then was to keep it simple. He said, pick up five things which are very, very important to you and just let everything else pass by. Because if you focus, only then you will accomplish anything worthwhile. Whether it is your health, your wealth, or relationships, career, or even money. Pick up anything which is really, really important and then let the others pass by. Lesson number two, keep having fun. Fun is underrated. Fun sometimes is misconceived as overindulgence. But fun is simply the ability to take things with a pinch of salt and keep moving on in life. Lesson number three. Hurdles are an integral part and bad things will happen to you. Remember, each one of us have had our share of bad things in life. We had plans, but plans got devastated. So he said, bad things and hurdles are an integral part of your life. So keep believing that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Number four is everyone can make a huge difference. No matter where you are and where you come from, each one of us can make a huge difference. You don't really have to have that supernatural power to make a difference. You can make as much difference as you would wish with what you just have at your disposal. Number five is first impressions aren't always the best impressions. Now this one took a while for me to understand, but the truth is there are some occasions, some people, some times where it takes a lot of time for us to actually understand a person. Now, if you go by the first impression of that person, that may not be true. So first impressions are not always the best impression. Next lesson is big results come when you narrow down your focus. Yes, as we all know, slow is the new speed. Less is more. So we need to understand that only when we have narrowed down our focus, we get big results. Then love yourself. Back up yourself always. Be your own cheerleader. This is very important. There are times when we feel down and out. There are times when you feel on top of the world. At both these times, you are your best cheerleader. Next lesson, sometimes you just have to go for it. As they say, just go for it. Action speaks louder than words. So if you are aiming for perfection, excellence, all of them is fine, but action is very important. So sometimes just go for it. Next, in order to get, you have to give. Remember, the hand that gives is always on the upper side. So in order to get, you have to give. So keep giving, keep
keep supporting keep helping keep mentoring keep sharing what you have to get all that you desire next nothing much is worth from fighting or there is nothing which you will get or gain from fighting please remember this all of us do everything for an emotional payback it's towards that feeling what we carry at the end all our actions are channelized or directed towards but in this process fighting is not an option so instead let's focus on loving one another so nothing much is gained by fighting next don't try to impress but express expression is important whether it is through gestures words written lines but impressing people is not so important then last lesson is your 30s your 40s and your 50s won't feel like your 30s 40s and 50s what did he mean then was majority of the times almost all the time in your life you are always feeling the same way like how you feel in your teenage maybe a little bit more of wisdom a little bit more of experience will bring in a little bit more of confidence so look forward to growing up don't feel that okay i have grown and my life is almost over so these were the lessons and as i found this sheet of paper from the assignment i thought it is valid even to this day now if you liked any of these lessons do share it with your young ones because they are relevant even to this day thank you for watching csk speaks